Hey, this is Brett, and this 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon is stock number 23J571. I'm excited to go over this Jeep Gladiator today. This is probably our last 2023 that we're going to get in brand new. I'm sure the 2024s are going to be out very soon with that mid-model refresh, which everybody is excited about. Uh, the one thing about this particular Jeep Gladiator is you don't have to wait for the refresh to get the LED headlight and running light group. This one has it, so it's going to have the better headlights on it from the factory. You get these seven slotted satin finished grill. I'm going to go all the way around in this video, show you all the options. We're going to take a look at the original window sticker, give you the most accurate representation I can of this Jeep. And I'm excited to do this one because there are so many rebates and incentives right now going on on the 2023 Jeep lineup, especially the Gladiators. So if you want to get your summit price in the lower or in the upper right hand part of the screen and in the description below is a link to our website where you can get all the pricing and current pricing and incentives on this Jeep. So click that uh, right now. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, and stay current on our vast and ever-changing inventory. So getting to these lights, we're going to turn those on at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. This one does have the color match fenders. You get the black hard top on this one, has a spray and bed liner as well. Here are the painted and polished aluminum 17-inch wheels. They are really good looking. You get the red Jeep on there as well. Falcon Wild Peak AT tires, same tires I got on my truck. Uh, LT28570 R17s, and you get an all-terrain tread pattern to them. You get the red shocks with the Rubicon package on there. You also get the Rubicon lettering on the hood, and that is a sports-style hood, of course. You get these sandals on the shroud right there. You also get the Jeep climbing up the side of the windshield. You get the T50 on the doors to take these doors off. You got to have a Torx 50 wrench. We did a video on how to take your doors off your Jeep Gladiator. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. You also get the rock rails on there, which are a really nice add on. We'll take a look at the original window sticker in just a second. So stick around for that. Four wheel disc brakes standard on the Gladiators. You get these rock rails on the rear of the box as well. LED tail lamps, red tow hooks. So you don't get the receiver hitch, but you do have the wiring all set up for towing, for towing. So all you'd have to do is get a receiver hitch on there and you'd be all set to go. Locking tailgate, you get the third brake light in the tail light, which is really nice. Has a shock down assist, so it's never gonna slam down on you. You also get LED bed lights and a very nice factory spray and bed liner. That goes on to the tailgate and shuts nice and solidly. Really like those color match fenders. You do get heated power mirrors. They fold in as well, like so. You get the enter and go system, just have to have the key in your pocket. Doors will automatically unlock. Back storage area. Get the latch child safety system on these seats. Sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These seats fold up. There's a case for your hard top pieces. You get a storage area for all the bolts, for the doors and the hard top pieces as well. Speaking of those hard top pieces, there are some bolts right here that go along. We actually did a demo on how to take your Gladiator hard top off. If you want to check that out, that's in the description below. You can lock these seats with the ignition key. So if you put valuables behind there, like you have to top off, put that seat like so, lock it, and then you can't get back there. It's a nice lockable storage area for you. Factory floor mats back here. You also get 115 volt, 400 watt plug-in, and two USBs and two USB-Cs power window controls, and two cup holders as well. Child safety locks on the back doors. Up front, you get the black cloth interior. You get the Rubicon stitch on the backrest. You also get the honeycomb design on the center of the back and bottom seat. Driver's side uh, seat height adjuster, as well as lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, power locks, power mirrors. You get the red dash on here. Let's 
turn the ignition on here so you can see the seven inch LCD display there, the Rubicon animation. You get the digital speedometer, compass display, and uh, coolant, obviously fuel, and uh, your four wheel drives on this side. Get the heated leather wrap steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. So it comes with the 8.4 4C radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on here. You also have your heated seats, heated steering wheel controls, as, and your backup camera, which they've made those HD. So you can get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer once you get that hitch on there. The first time, every time. And then you get all your different apps on here. This one does have off-road pages. Projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen, which is a pretty sweet system. This one does have the factory navigation system on it. And there's Highway 41. And uh, getting back to those off-road pages, they take a second to load. So while they are loading, I'll show you get more tactile volume, tune, and climate controls down here. Start, stop capabilities, stability control, speed select, crawl control. Maybe lost, but never stuck in a gladiator. Here are the off-road pages. You get your steering angle on there as you turn that steering wheel. Those wheels up top change, as well as the angle. So that's pretty cool. You get sway bar disconnected if it's connected or if it's disconnected. Front axle if it's locked or unlocked. Same thing with the rear axle. You also have your latitude, longitude, and altitude on there. Accessory gauges and your pitch and roll, which if we were in satellite signal, we'd be able to see the pitch and roll we're at right now. But the picture studio is blocking all that. Uh, like I said, more tactile controls down here. You got your window controls. You get a USB, USB-C, and AUGS jack right there. Right here, this is what makes a Gladiator a Glad... I'm sorry, a Rubicon, a Rubicon, my bad. Uh, front and rear axle lock and rear axle lock, as well as off-road plus mode and sway bar disconnect. That's what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon. Otherwise, it's just a sport or whatever other trim level you have. But only the Rubicon gets these. Here's your 4x4 shifter, your 8-speed automatic transmission. You get the Gladiator on the top there with the red release. Keyless entry with the remote start. You also get the flipper key on there. Nice chunky key fob. And there's a spot for those to be held right there. Uh, before we go check out the LED lights and the original window sticker, I wanted to show you one last thing on this Jeep that's pretty cool. At least I think it's cool. Be nice. And we're going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio so you can see just how bright those are. But this one has the wireless Bluetooth speaker. So they put these right back here. They sit right in here so they can charge. And then they pop out like so. And you can hook this up to your Bluetooth cell phone and turn the volume up and everything, and then you got a speaker for wherever you want to listen to music on your phone. So that's a really nice little add-on that they have. Pretty cool. There's more bolts back here to get this hard top off. And that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the original window sticker. Now this window sticker will be in the description below as well, so uh, you can click a link to that in the description below. But you can see 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Base price is 51875 hydro blue pearl coats color, black interior, Rubicon cloth, uh, 3.6 V6, 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment, including the Jeep Wave membership. Then your optional equipment starts with the hydro blue pearl coat, which is 595 Cold weather group is 1595 gives you remote start. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. The premium lighting group is 1895 That's definitely worth it. And uh, so you don't have to worry about this one not having it because it's a 2023. All the 2024s are going to have it, but this one has it uh, right there from the factory. Eight-speed automatic transmission, $2,500. The four-to-one rock track full-time four-wheel drive system is $895. Black Freedom hardtop is $2,095. Cold air intake system by Mopar is $525, and the satin black grille is $195. Body color fender flares are $995, and the wireless speaker is $595. 17 by 7.5 inch machine painted black wheels is $1395, and the spray and bed liner is $525. Can you believe that? The spray and bed liner is less than that wireless speaker. Amazing. $67,575 is your total MSRP to get all the rebates and incentives. Like I said, at this moment of the time of this video, 
the rebates and incentives are pretty crazy on the 2023 Gladiators. So definitely click the link in the description below or in the upper right hand part of the screen to get your Summit price. 5 year 60 powertrain, 3 year 36 bumper to bumper, 17 city, 22 highway, 19 average. And there are your front crash test ratings, four and five, and then rollovers three. And when you go to get your summit price, if you call us, tell them that Brett sent you so that they know that you saw the video and that's where you came from. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all the lights in the picture studio. We'll do a final walk around on this Rubicon Gladiator and we'll be all set to go. All right, as you can see, all the lights are very bright. Definitely know your in front of a or coming up on a Gladiator or a Wrangler, very distinctive front end. But you can see just how bright those lights are. Definitely a much added increase and uh, a very nice option to have on the Gladiator or the Wrangler for that matter. And that's why Jeep made them standard in 2024 on the Rubicons, the LED lights. They look really good and they are definitely functional and a very nice safety feature for the vehicle, glad that this one has it. And that's everything. Thank you so much for checking out the video. We'll do one final walk around here. And if you have any comments, questions, concerns, scathing rebuttals, opinions, what you liked about the Jeep, what you didn't like about the Jeep, what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, let me know in the comments below. And I can always make my videos better for all the great viewers out there watching all of the Jeep content. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, Wagoneers, Renegades, Compasses, you name it, we got it. Go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you want to check out more HD videos, go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, which will help you stay current on our vast and ever-changing inventory here at Summit Automotive. And uh, I do the videos, that means the vehicle's in stock, goes up on YouTube, you get a notification, that video, that vehicle is here. So definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. In fact, in a second you will see a link to subscribe to the YouTube channel, a link to all the Gladiator videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this brand new 2023 Jeep Gladiator, Rubicon, and Hydro Blue clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.